Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be doing a jewelry photo and video shoot using Seller Pick AI. We will be using these three jewelry items and placing them onto very real looking models like you can see in front of you. We will also be turning one of these images into a video using Kling AI. So there's gonna be a lot of fun because Seller Pick AI is something that is making a lot of noise these days and it is very justified because you're gonna find out in this video when we compare the results to even the latest chat GPT AI image editor, this is far, far superior. So the links to all the tools and the images that are gonna be used in this tutorial are given in the description. You will be able to work along with me. When you go to Sellerpick and create your account, you will get 20 credits for free. That's the best part. So you can definitely test out this tool. So let's get started. Once you log in after creating your account and you're seeing this interface, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to go to AI model image. So let's click there and by default, you'll find this option already selected, which is virtual try on accessories. This is what we need. And also we'll be trying this, which is swap fashion model later on. But right now let's get started with this. And how this all gets started is first of all, by uploading the image in this case of the jewelry item, we'll start off with the first earring. So I'm gonna hit device and upload that image here. And the moment you do that, this shows you a very important pop-up, which is about scaling this image that we're soon gonna see on the canvas because this is gonna be important. We will be able to change its size as you can see from these uh, little handles here. And this is important because as you can see in this box here, it's showing us what is correct. So if we decrease the size, we basically have to match it to the image that we choose from the templates here. If we don't scale it properly, for example, in this case, if it's too big, then you can see that these results can look bad. Okay, and again, this is an example for the necklace also. This is gonna be a bit of hit and miss as you're gonna realize, but overall it does work out to be fine. So it's not a big issue. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna close this now. How I suggest that you kind of go through with this is definitely something this big is not good for an earring, right? So how this works is uh, just to determine what is the correct scale that you should be using, how big or small this should be. First, you decide on the template. Okay, so here you can see on this right hand side, we have different categories like bags, watches. We are gonna select earrings in this case, and we're gonna get those ready-made templates. And one of the things I really love about their templates is that none of these look like those AI models. They look real photos. In fact, they might just be real photos. You can see here, we have a lot of these templates available to us. Later on, I'll be showing you that you can even use your own picture of your own model if you have. We'll come to that very, very soon. So you can see these are like good for close up, but I wanted to go something for which in, we, in which we can actually see the face. And when I was practicing this, uh, the image that I ended up choosing was this last one here. So I'm just gonna select it now. Before you hit this, you can see, right? So this, I would have just loved it if we clicked on this and it gave us an overlay. And then according to this picture, we could scale this, but that doesn't happen, okay? So now I know I'm kind of roughly imagining this image inside this canvas, then you can figure out how big or small this should be. So you can definitely say that, okay, if this ear is somewhere here, maybe we can have it probably this big. And something like this works out to be fine. Though, like I said, it can be a bit of hit and miss. If it turns out to be bigger, the only thing is that you lose, lose out on certain credits and the next time you basically just make it bigger or smaller according to the result that you got. It's not such a big deal, but right now let's just uh, hit or select this option. And you can see the moment you click on that template, it shows you the masked area where this is basically gonna replace our own jewelry. If you want, you can even hit this option that says adjust. And if you do that, you can actually take away from or add to this mask anytime. So maybe I want to give it more room. Maybe the earring that I was using is slightly longer, let's say. Then in that case, I can tell it that, you know, it has to be long like this. But in this case, I feel the earring that I have is similar to this one in its shape. So I can just hit uh, undo. So I can just say confirm right now. And all we then need to do is just hit this option that says generate is gonna give us two results and each of them will cost us a credit. So two credits will be taken away. So let's do this. And it doesn't take that long, so let's wait for the results. 
All right, so you can see that we've got both results and right here you can see the first result looks absolutely amazing. It's replaced exactly the same jewelry. It's not even changed it in any way. Sometimes I've seen that in one of the photos, it adds certain things, but usually the other photo is accurate. So maybe let's see the second one. Maybe it might be slightly different. So this is the first one. And I think in both the ones, it has maintained the consistency really well. But the best part is that if you just see this model, it doesn't look like one of those AI models. This is like a proper picture that you can use in your uh, e-commerce platform. So this is great for people who are into selling stuff commercially. Now let's move on to the necklace image. So we're gonna hit reset here. So everything starts again. We can delete this product now, now that we've got the image for this. Let's upload the necklace image here. And this was the image where I was definitely facing an issue with the scale. So I'm just gonna show you uh, some of the results later on, but right now let's at least select the template first. So this time we're gonna go over to, uh, if you just go away, you can see here, necklace. And again, we get a lot of different templates here. The one that I really liked was, uh, I think it was this one. So we're gonna select this. And now I was trying to do the same thing. I was again trying to imagine this. And according to that, I had actually made it slightly small, something like this. And what happened with that was, this was the result that I got. The replacement was amazing, but the necklace just looked too small and overall it wasn't just standing out. So what I've realized is in case something like this happens, you know, just increase the size, even though it doesn't make sense, just increase the size if that happens. And something like this was where I got a decent result. So now if I just hit generate, let's just wait for these results. And you can see that we've got again a fantastic result. Yes, it doesn't exactly match the scale that we had set, but now you do realize what you have to do in case you get a wrong result, how you can correct it. So you can see that this time, both the results look really, really nice. This is the first one and this is the second one. Now, what if you already had your own image and you just wanna replace the jewelry in that? You had your own model. So we're also gonna see how to do that. So let's take the example of this picture and we just want to replace the earring with this earring. Okay, okay so how do you do that? Very easy. Again, we're gonna hit reset. Okay, you can just delete everything here. So we're starting all over again. This time, instead of preset, you can just go over to the custom option here. And here we're gonna upload this image of this woman. So when you get this upload box here, make sure you select the correct uh, objective also. For example, this is gonna be the earrings and then you hit upload and put in the picture here. All right, so we've just uploaded the image. We've selected the correct objective. We're gonna hit create now. And now what you can do is you will just get this little brush. This is where you can just paint the mask and tell it where exactly you, or what you wanna replace. So I can just decrease the size and just paint over this area here. See, very, very easy to do. Uh, because our jewelry or our earring is slightly longer, I'll just give it more space here. And yeah, that's about it. We can just, you can see, showing you the area here, we can hit confirm. And now we can just, again, upload the image of this new earring. And again, I'm just gonna slightly make it smaller. So for earrings, something like this was working out to be fine. And I think that should be all good. And once you are ready, you can just, again, just select this area. Now this becomes your template and then just hit generate and let's wait for the results. All right, so you can see that we've got a fantastic result here also. The only thing is the earring slightly looks a bit small and that's where you can just do this thing again. This time just scale it slightly more. And then when I did that, this is the result that I got. And this is also the image that we will be using later on inside Kling to turn this into a video. Now, another feature that I wanna show you is the sw a swap fashion model. So let's say you have a particular image and let's just take, a, take an example. Let's say now you're planning to sell the same jewelry, maybe in some other country. So you just wanna have uh, someone from that country to represent uh, you know, in the image like the model. So how can you do that? So let's take the example of this image and let's try to change the person, but we don't wanna change the jewelry. And this, uh, and seller pick is amazing at that also. So let's upload this image here. Well, you can see that the analysis has started. And the reason it does that is because it allows you to create the mask. So you can keep something constant and change everything else. So right now, of course, it is probably thinking that we wanna do this for the clothes, but we just wanna do this for the jewelry and we wanna change the model altogether. So before we select our new model from here, we can just hit this option that says edit mask, and then we can create our own mask. So we can just zoom in. 
And wherever you click, it'll start to generate that mask. So you can see first, we'll just click on the stone here. Then this part, you can zoom in further. And you can see it's pretty good at just recognizing that. I'm just gonna zoom in more. There's some gaps here. And you can see it's pretty much done the job here. And I think, yeah, this much is fine. So we, it's again showing you what is gonna preserve here. This is fine, we're gonna hit confirm. And then let's take any example. Let's say that we plan to now sell this in Brazil or somewhere, something like that. So we can select, uh, let's say we want a female model, age, let's say youth and region, uh, something like this is fine. So maybe we'll select our new model from here. This slightly costs more, it's gonna cost you four credits, but the, the results are usually good. Sometimes I've seen uh, with certain types of models, it can slightly not get you get you 100% result, but most of the times it works well. So let's see how it does it. All right, so you can see that we've got our results and it has done a pretty good job. You can see that except for the hairstyle, it has done the replacement in a flawless way. You can see the skin color, the face, everything is of the new model that we had chosen here. I would have probably liked it more if they would have changed the hairstyle also. That is something I've seen that they don't do. So probably this is a tool that you'll just have to use after thinking a bit, but it still works out to be well. Now, what I wanna show you before we move on to anything else is why Seller Pick AI is way, way superior than doing something like this inside even the latest chat GPT AI image generator. So just to test something similar out inside chat GPT, what I had done was that I had uploaded, I was using this particular image of this model and I was using those same earrings and there was a necklace also and I just typed in, replace the necklace in the first image with the one in the second image. I actually didn't give it the command to replace the earrings, but it did that, but you can see the results that we got were not good because first of all, if you see this image, this was an AI generated image, but it even made it more AI. So it increased that cartoonish look, which we are not getting inside Seller Pick AI. That itself makes it the winner. But even when you see the replacement here, you can see the scale and all is just different. And then when you, when you keep on editing this, it just doesn't work out too well. For smaller jewelry items, it does work a bit, but the, again, the problem is because you're gonna be uploading that original image which won't have the AI look, when you ultimately do this, it is gonna give that AI look, the cartoonish look to the final output. So there's no real point, unless and until you are okay with it. So right now, unless and until editors like Chat GPT, Gemini and Grok, which have all suddenly just appeared on the scene, unless and until they can locally edit the photo, I don't think that it will be able to really be a competitor to do something like seller pick. And by local editing, I mean that if we had a picture like this, we should be able to draw a mask and just around that jewelry, uh, in this case, the necklace, and then the prompt should only work there. If they allow us to do that in the future, then definitely it can be a competitor to seller pick. But because it is regenerating the entire image and giving it that cartoonish look all over again, I don't think right now it can even come close to seller pick. Finally, I just wanted to test how good the seller pick image to video generation is when you compare it to Kling. So I've already made the video on Kling, which I'm just gonna show you how I did. But in, inside seller pick also, you can do that. So if you just go uh, hit the logo to go back to the homepage, you can go over to this tool that says image to video. And then let's upload this particular image. So the image is here and now we just need to uh, need a video prompt to describe the motion. And I've already done this for Kling, so I'm gonna use the same prompt here also. So for this, I used ChatGPT, I just uploaded the picture and I said that I'm gonna use it uh, in an, a video generator like Kling. And I just described the motion that she's closing her eyes and smiling towards the camera. Give me a prompt for this. And you can see that it gave a pretty good prompt. I've already used it in Kling. It gave a pretty good result, but let's see how Sellerpick also does it here. Because obviously Kling AI is known to be the best to convert images into video. So we are basically comparing it to the best out there. So we're gonna just paste this prompt here. We're using exactly the same image. On the free plan, we can only generate five seconds. And this will be a good comparison because it's again five seconds over at Kling also for the video that I have generated there. And we're gonna use stable style for this. It's just gonna cost you 10 credits. And let's just generate this and let's see the kind of results that we get here. And then we'll go over to Kling. All right, so our video is ready. And if I just play this video by hitting this button, 
You can see this doesn't look bad, but then it doesn't really have that smooth motion. And also it changed the face quite a bit. It just produced that changes as she was turning. This is a very common problem in AI video generation uh, platforms. You see this again, just doesn't look natural, has that AI look to it. And it's not really serving the purpose of advertising this earring. That is the main intention. So probably this is something where obviously we are also being a bit unfair because Kling AI is probably the best in the world at this. And when, you, when you're going to see the result here, it's just absolutely going to blow away the seller pick uh, version. So I'm just going to show you that. But before that, if you've never used it, the good part about this and why I suggest you use this instead of seller pick is because this is free to use. Even on a free account, you get around 150 credits and a five second video will only take you around 20 credits. And when you see this interface, you can go over to video generation and then you can go over and put your picture, then paste the prompt here. I've already done that just to save time. And because I'm using the paid version, I can select the professional mode that gives you slightly better videos. You'll probably have to just uh, use the uh, standard mode, but even that produces very good results. Also another thing before I show you this result is that few days back, Kling 2 had come out, which was making a lot of noise all over. So I wanted to test 1.6 versus the two video also. And the results were actually very, very surprising. So first of all, let me show you what happened when I did exactly the same thing, basically what we did over at Seller Pick at, uh, with Kling 1.6, which is now the older model, okay? So this was the result I got and I was actually very impressed with this result. So let's just play this completely. You can see it doesn't change the face, the person looks absolutely real and the focus stays on the earring. This is pretty much perfect in this case. And this is the, 1.6, the older version, which is generating this. Now, let me actually show you the 2 one, which is actually now supposed to be the best. At least in this case, in my opinion, it didn't work out very well. So just see the result here. This almost, to me, looked more like the seller pick uh, version. You can see it changed the face a bit, gave it that AI look, and again, the focus didn't remain on the ear. So it didn't, wasn't really able to kind of get the context of the prompt, again. Just once again, if we see this, I think this just looks absolutely amazing. All right, so this is how you do the jewelry photo and video shoot in case this video helped you out. Don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the upcoming AI image and video editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.